Ooh, what's this cat thing? Oh, there's, actually, I just found another one. These cat things. What's it do? Ooh. Okay. Uh, why am I just like totally intrigued by this? Ooh. <laughs> since I have been at my favorite Goodwill. It's been weeks, which is always fun because it should be nice and fresh on the shelves, which always is exciting. And you know, they have a big sale coming up on Saturday. It's, it's Thursday when I'm recording this. Uh, so they tend to price a lot of stuff with red tags and price it high. So it'll be interesting to see how that turns out because it's their monthly red tag sale. Uh, but I'm optimistic. And again, I'm, I'm kind of, uh, from my trip, I got good at being super picky. So I'm going to see if I can carry that into this first trip back into a home-based Goodwill. Yes, I am. Let's see if I can do it. All right, let's get in there. Ah, I really appreciate that, they, appreciate that they let us take the carts outside at this Goodwill. So here's one just waiting to go back inside. So I'm going to grab this one so that there's one less cart for them to have to go gather and one less reason for them to make it so we can't take them outside. All right, we are going to start it off back here in some of their housewares and glass. I don't know what would that have gone to where it obviously went to something but I'm not sure what these are kind of interesting they're wisteria wisteria I don't do I just realized I forgot to check what color is on sale as well I don't think it's blue because there's a lot of blue on the shelf which usually means that's not the color that's currently on sale those are cute they have a very uh odagiri kind of look to them don't they they are a dollar 49 each i do like those but i think i'm gonna leave them i'm gonna be good look at that i can do it i can do it i can do it it's difficult but i can do it Kind of a neat, uh, oh, it's a Mikasa, silk flowers. It's a big trivet. Very pretty. Oh, let's see. These are older. These are, um, they're EAPG, but they're, they're a later period of EAPG, like in the 19, mm, I'm gonna say 1920s, 1930s. Probably McKee glass. Um, McKee was known for doing these etched flowers. I'm kind of, oh, I'm kind of digging this set. This is my weakness. Like, even though I know these don't have a super high resale value, I just love saving them. So for that reason, I am going to pick these up because it is a complete set. Unfortunately, these are, don't have their sugars with them and this one is actually chipped. So I am gonna leave those and hope that somebody will come along and rescue them. I do kind of like this mug here. Dream beyond the tangible and achieve the incredible. Only problem is it is three bucks. So I'm gonna leave it. And let's see, ooh, is that plastic? Oh no, it's glass, it's glass. Ooh, hmm. I don't think this is any, it, you know, you can't go just on looks alone, just the quality of feeling it. It just doesn't have a good feel and there are blemishes in the production process. So if it was a super high quality glass, it wouldn't have those things. Um, it would feel like quality glass. I am kind of looking just to make sure there's no mark on it and I don't see one. So I am not going to be bringing that home with me. 
All right, let's hit the metals. Let's see if there's anything here. Ooh, there's some big horseshoes. This looks like it probably went to a horseshoe game. Yeah, sport craft went to a horseshoe game. I am always looking for real horseshoes. Real, like we're on a horse horseshoes. I also look for little menorahs. This one's nothing super special. It says right light limited, but it is only 99 cents too. So I like to have some of the Hanukkah stuff in my booth at Christmas time, um, December. So I am gonna pick that up. All right, I found two of these candle holders and I was kind of wishing there was like a third one of a different size, but there's something very intriguing about these. They do look like a homemade project though, is what I'm thinking. They're very, 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 very kind of rough for lack of a better word. I mean, the price is right at $2.99 and I'm assuming that one's gonna be even a little less because it's smaller, but I'm gonna leave them. But I do kind of like those. All right, let's see what else is over here. Ooh, Wi-Fi password. Why do we have a glass over here? Somebody put a glass over here. This says shot glasses inside. Ooh, I think this is vintage. I am gonna need to untape this to take a look. Uh, because if the shot glasses are inside, I need to make sure that the shot glasses are not chipped. And so uh, let me do that. And there we go. And what I ended up finding out is these are party lights. So they're not shot glasses, they're candles. So I'm um, a little intrigued by that. Oh, someone is testing a vacuum cleaner behind me. <laughs> Stand by. <laughs> okay, hopefully you can hear me over the vacuum cleaner being tested behind me. Um, I'm not gonna stand here and try to look this up. It's, it's a $4 lesson. It's very intriguing. Yes, some party light does sell for some pretty decent money and this is something different. Um, and there used to be vintage shot glass holders like this that it's trying to kind of mimic so it fits in that kind of decor. So I'm gonna go ahead and pick that up for four bucks. Oh, I just looked down here. These are kind of, uh, those are kind of intriguing. Oh, they came from Ross. They were $12.99 at Ross and they are $7.99 at Goodwill. Oh, I still like them though. Like they're, they're pretty cool. It's not really my style, but I could see somebody decorating with those quite nicely. This guy was way up on a top shelf and I am starting to tuck away some fall stuff, but unfortunately, oh goodness, he's pretty, pretty beat up. That's too bad. If he was in good shape, I would have picked him up, but with all that damage, we're going to have to put him back. All right. We're going to skim past all that clear glass. I did give it a little peek before I turned the camera on and there was nothing of note there. I'm just taking a peek and seeing if this one kind of matches the ones on my porch. Oof, $7.99. Um, yeah, I'm not a big, I'm not big on the orange. So I don't, don't need that one. You never know what treasure you will find for half price. Oh, gray. I just found out it's gray we're looking for. Oh, this, this looks like a Blue Sky Clayworks and it says Cottage Cozies in there, but it would have had a base. Would have been something that the candle had to sit on and that is missing. Therefore, we will leave that behind. I just found some Easter ones like this and these ones are Halloween. They're by Wilton. Um, not like a super expensive thing, but again, great filler for the booth. All right, let's see. We got a cute, cute little honey bear. Put him aside. Oh, there's a little, little troll. And I've got plenty of these right now. I don't need that. Um, but normally I do pick those up. Ooh, I do like that sign though. I 
do like that sign right there. It's $2.99, so I think I am going to get this and either put it on my little shelf behind me during my live sales or put it in my booth because I just like it. Okay, we got some loud music playing overhead, so I just need to keep talking because that's the way we combat that. I think I'll play with some letters for a moment. Let's see what we can spell. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Mmm, I can't spell anything that I want to spell. I used to be really good at these games, you know, and make words out of things, but I'm, I, I'm not quick enough right now to come up with it. Okay, I got played in. Well, in played, because I didn't want to change everything around. But I got played in. I got it. I got words. Okay, this is one of those those baskets that's like laser cut. Oh, hold on. I can do this. Look at that. Look at that. Oh. <laughs> Can't do it with one hand. Anyway, it makes it makes a sunflower. Let's see how much is that. It is $2.99. I'm gonna pick that up. Let's see this under oh it's really wood. Oh my goodness, that's really wood. It's a wood shell. I think it's made to look old. I don't think it's actually old. Because if that was actually old, um, that would be worth some money. But it's not. I, I just, it's one of those things you can, when you see it in person, it's the painting. It's just not right for an old piece. A little, okay, it's just made to have like flowers kind of peeking out of it. All right. All right. Okay. We have some Father Christmas ornaments. These are kind of nice. They're $4.99 each. It's very few ornaments that I just pick up because you do need to look them up. Most of them are probably not worth picking up unless you're gonna lot them up into big lots. <laughs> lot them up into big lots. There, that, that made sense. <laughs> BFF. Some bows. It's a little busy in here tonight. I'm trying to stay out of people's way. I'm not doing completely well at that. Ooh, I do like that. I like that a lot. It's a 3D kind of a wood thing put together here. I'm sure it's, you know, of course, there it is. There's, there is who made it. It's five bucks. I gotta get that. That's really awesome. Okay, the Christmas stuff is just a little bit on the overwhelming side. I mean, there's like two complete rows. So I'm gonna skim through and kind of show you what's here. And then I'm gonna shop it. And then I'm gonna show you what I put in my cart. That way, I don't stay on this Christmas forever and bore those of you who are completely uninterested in Christmas. As I know, I get I get some comments. Some of you just don't even want to see the Christmas, and I respect that. And then some of you love the Christmas, and I respect that. So we're gonna do a little bit of both. This way, it's the best of both worlds. Ooh, <laughs> that's probably ending up in my cart. Oh, and this kind of goes with uh, the little, the little, uh, what did I get? I got a reindeer that was like that. So, ooh, I see a nativity, I'm probably, okay. So I'm gonna shop this, and then I'm gonna come back, and I'm gonna show you which items ended up in my cart. So, like, just, you could pause the video right now and kind of rewind and see if you can guess which items went in my cart. Let's play that game. Put in the comments what your guesses were, and then let's see how close you came. Okay, I'm trying to find a spot where the speaker isn't right over my head. I got a bunch of these little light up window things. Uh, I don't know how much they are. Not a single one of them is priced. So if they're cheap enough, I'm gonna get them. If they're too much, I'm gonna put them back. Like if they're over five bucks, I'm putting them back. Um, this one's a cornucopia. And then I've got, this is called Itsy Bitsy Spider and it's a spider web. And then, oh goodness, I'm gonna have to get to those other ones. There's a turkey. And then I got another Halloween. Oh, it's a black cat. And that one is motion. Um, I also found these LED 
color changing Christmas trees. And I'm gonna first offer these to my friend Tiffany of Thrifting Vegas, who loves to decorate with trees. Uh, so she gets first dibs at these, um, but otherwise these will probably go in my booth because they'll add a little color too. Um, those were $3.99. And then I got, oh, don't, don't fall out of the cart, little tree. I see you, I see you trying to fall out. I did pick up the little Scottish soldier guy. He's just cute. Um, buck 99. I just had to have him. The other tree that I showed you was in pretty rough shape. This one's pretty good and this is a big, it's a big like a bottle brush tree with ornaments. I like this one. This one is uh, $4.99 but you know what these are super expensive so I'm okay with that. I'm okay with that. Uh, then we got some these are wooden tree coasters for $1.99. And I got, come here little thing. I got some owl LED lights. I'm hoping these work. It's $5 for the set. And I know these things are pretty pricey. So hopefully um, someone didn't donate them when they stopped working. It looks to be I may go plug them in actually. I may go over to the electric section and test these, but those are really cute. And those can go on my porch at Halloween time. So those that's something that I would keep and decorate with if they work. Let me get around here. I just love this little sign. I think this is gonna go behind my desk. Everybody who's in the reselling business needs to remember this. If it's good, it's wonderful. If it's bad, it's experience. So there's really no bad things that happen. They're just experience, they're just things that happen. Just remember that, everyone. All right, and here's, here's the turkey. Oh, I did get a couple more things under here. Let me unbury them. I got some Pottery Barn stockings. These are just cute, $1.99. It's all velvet and it's like an elf toe. I will do something with that. I got this one that just reminded me of Mary Gregory Glass. I know it's not that old, um, but it's got a nice look. And again, when decorating the booth for Christmas time, I need stuff like that. I mean, I may end up seeing that it's worth something. I haven't really checked it out yet. It's got, it's new with tags. It was made in 2007 by Dem Daco. So I'll look it up. Uh, well, it's $2.99, so. I can do that. I can do $2.99. And there's the the black cat. How you guys doing so far? Did you think that I would pick up any of this stuff? Yeah, I got two of those little elf booties. And then I got these. These I thought were interesting. It says Hobgoblin's Christmas from the vintage collection of Bruce Elsass. Designed by Bethany Lowe Designs. I don't know. Just interesting. They've got again an old-fashioned look. There's two of them in there for a buck ninety-nine. I got a big snowflake for me and my decorations. Oh, and another turkey. Is that it? Oh no. One more little guy here. One more. What did I get? Oh. Meili Kaliki Maka. It is a Hawaiian Christmas ornament painted on a sand dollar 1983 and that is how much how much is that that is uh, unpriced and I'm sure they'll give me a good price oh one more goodie down here check this out oh my goodness we have a musical battery operated wind chime fireplace uh, never been out of the package somebody ripped the box but it's never been out of the package for $7.99 Okay, look at this fun stuff I just found. This little banner that spells out love, 99 cents. And then there are some matching um, placemats with hearts on them. And they're on burlap. I think that's what's getting me. They're on burlap. These are just like so cute. And they don't have to be just for like Valentine's Day. Come on, hearts are not just for Valentine's Day. Neither are red polka dots. And this is actually from St. Nicholas Square. It's a table runner. It is $2.99. So that's got the burlap look. I don't think those are St. Nicholas Square, but all of this goes together. 
it's all about love, so we're getting it. All right, we are finally into my favorite section. They've got some slot machine glass. I never did really well at selling that. Ooh, he is heavy. He's sandy cast. $15 for a ginormous West Highland Terrier sandy cast. Definitely not something I would want to ship. He might be good for the booth. I don't know. I'm going to think about that one. This is wood, and it has a nice look. It's not wood. Ooh, it fooled me. That's some, that's some good resin right there. Made to look like wood. Very tricky. Okay, I like these guys, but I'm gonna use some discipline and I am gonna leave these guys behind. I do not need them. What is that? Is it a trinket box? I think it's a turkey trinket box. It's pretty cute. I'm trying to get back here to this little lamb bank. He's $1.49. I think I kind of need him. I don't know how old he is, but he's pretty cute. And he's only buck forty-nine, so we're gonna get him. Good doke. Let's see what else is on the shelf. We've got a purple teacup. We can't see who made it, but a, it's just a sticker. So look at these. I remember making these little sand art things. How fun! Some kids project. A very decrepit music box. All right, all right. Let's see what else we got. We got an Oleg Cassini crystal salt and pepper set. Look at those. Those are pretty bougie. In their little box. And they are $7.99. So that's something I will look up. Um, because if these are selling for more than $25, I will pick them up. So I'll let you know how that turns out. So I am picking these up. They do sell 20 to 25. So I will pay the $8 on these because you know why? Super duper easy to list and easy to ship. That's why. And then there's a squirrel. He was sitting on the cart of things coming out. Um, he's probably a threshold brand. It looks like I see a T, but it's 99 cents. Like, come on, come on. I can sell him down at the booth. I mean, I think he might have had a, a lid at one time. I can still sell him down at the booth for an easy $10 all day long. All right, I just pulled these ladies off of the shelf. Their colors attracted me, and then I turned them around to see they are Silvestri. Good brand, $2.99. We are going to grab those. I sell a lot of salt and pepper sets, and these are like not super fancy, but they've got cork bottoms, so they're definitely vintage, and they're only $1.49, so that's an easy flip. All right, this does not seem like a legit mid-century piece. Do you see the like the little pimple in there and just the low quality of the glass? I'm pretty sure this is like a made in Mexico reproduction. So we're leaving that. And I just want to say, this is not the right attitude to start the day with. It's not, don't do it. Don't buy this plaque. All right. Bells, bells, bells. All right. I think that is a Temptations bowl there. If I can get past all the, the bottles of... I never did get in. Did anybody get into this phase? I never got into that. There's something about it just always bothered me. It is not Temptations. It fo you know what? I've seen this before. It fools me every time. I'm not sure who does it, but it's not Temptations. But we do have to look at the Ross Elephant. And is this one a Ross Elephant too? He might be. Um, neither one is pretty fantastic, so we're going to leave those. All right, let's just look through here, see if there's anything. I can't tell what that name is under there. Mm, doesn't matter. It's got a big crack. That changes things. This is a Russ. Russ Berry. They make a lot of these plushies. He's $3.99. I usually pick them up for like 99 cents. $3.99 is a little more than I want to spend. They don't sell for a whole lot. They sell consistently, just not for like any big money or anything. So they've got to be the right price for me to pick them up. What are you? Oh, there's more of these little clackers, little 
I call these belly dancer clackers. What's the official name? Uh, I'm not sure, because it doesn't even say on here what the official name is. And they got a couple of them. Clackers, belly dancer clackers, that's what I call them. We'll just leave it at that. How about that? All right, oh, what are you? You are, oh, I can't even read that. It's Bavaria. Bavarian. It's got a cute little pattern and it's not priced. Hmm. I may find out how much that one is because I kind of I kind of like this the pastels on there and it's got a mid-century kind of design. So let's go find out how much that one is. Lots of coasters. Kind of like these. Have a nice look to them. Chickens. There we go. I like that much better. Let's go with that. Let's go with that. That said something on the bottom. I can't tell. Something USA. Hmm. $5.99 though. I don't like it that much. We got the dolls. Ooh, what's this cat thing? Oh, there's... Actually, I just found another one. These cat things. What's it do? Ooh. Okay. Uh, why am I just like totally intrigued by this? Ooh. <laughs> kind of digging it. Oh, and then it. Oh, look at that. I kind of like it. I kind of like it. What are these? These are Isaac Jacobs from New York for two ninety nine. I I think I have to have those. I'm. I have to have those. That's all I can say. That's all I can say. I am over in the candles and there is a candle over here somewhere that smells really good. And I'm not quite sure which one it is. Just not sure. Are these candles or are these just fruit? Cause you know how I love my fruit. This is just like those ceramic fruits. I like the colors of these for $3.99. Oh yeah, we're picking those up. All right, we are looking for glass baby. I know, I've been saying glass babies. It's glass baby. I know that. It just spits out of my mouth differently. Of this, you know, I have to pick up for Rachel. In fact, she did such an amazing job working on her bedroom today that she actually has some new shelves for things. And uh, I'm going to have to show you how good she did with her little collection. But I'm picking that up for Rachel. So yes, we're always on the hunt for glass, baby. Which I don't see any today, but it can blend in really good. So you need to make sure you look really close because it can look like a common cam candle. Common candle, that's hard to say. Um, so, I mean, it's gonna, I mean, no, it's not gonna look like, but it's gonna be just a little, go look at some pictures of some glass baby. Make sure you know what those glass baby look like because you don't want to pass them by. This smells really good too, the scentsy stuff, but one of the trade-offs that we have in having birds is we no longer can do all our little candle melts and stuff. Even though they say scentsy is safe, we don't take any chances. Oh my goodness, so many baggies of ornaments over here on the end. Just got to take a quick peek through here, see what they've got. Because you never know, like, I mean... We got Santa and some hands in there. But I'm looking for the true old vintage kitschy. I mean, like, I know those are really collectible. But it's like, mm, there's only one. Oh, I guess there's a couple of them, actually. There's one, two, there's like three that could go in a lot together in there. For three dollars, mm, I just don't know if I like them that much for three dollars so I will leave those for someone else but had there been more of them in there oh these look really old if there had been more of them in there I probably would have grabbed that bag but oh look at the little mice in here look at the little dressed up mice oh now these are cute now these are cute for $1.99 all right I'm gonna do those I'm over in the testing station and I'm pretty glad that these are working. They change colors. These are awesome. I love them. 
I don't know that I'm going to wait for fall to put them up. I don't know. I might put them up now because I'm kind of digging them and they go with my color changing flying pigs. So there you go. I was over in the art and I found this girl. It's a 3D kind of shadow box collage kind of a thing. Isn't she fantastic? I mean, come on. She's been got a little paper doll thing. Oh my gosh, this is so cute. And it is $2.99. Yes, I found some red pens too. Uh, and then this piece, now there was two of these frames, but only one of them still had the painting in it. This is an original painting by, I cannot make out that name. Can't make that out. Um, it's This isn't priced, but I'm sure they're gonna sell it to me for like 99 cents. And this is one of those things that um, I can't leave behind. I wish I had found them both because these are pretty cool. Or well, this one's pretty cool. I can imagine the other one was pretty cool too. I spent, I think it came to like $130. She sold me those um, those outdoor decoration things for $1.99 each. I love this manager. And the little, um, the little sugar, the little Bavarian sugar was $1.99. And that little piece of art was, it was so, so cool. She's like, the cheapest I can go is 69 cents. I'll do it gray tag so it's half off. It's only 35 cents. I'm like, okay. I did pick up a few pieces of jewelry. 
I never show the jewelry and I don't know why. I need to start showing you the jewelry. I do jewelry sales. Every other Friday I do jewelry and then every other Friday I do hard goods like, you know, glass, porcelain, pottery, collectibles, that kind of stuff at my life sales. So I get better at that. I'm working on some things. I'm working on some things. Okay. I'm going to get home. I don't know if you can see me sweating. For some reason, the Florida weather followed me home because we are having these crazy afternoon monsoons and then this intense muggy humidity with the heat. It, we, we, I like the dry oven heat that I'm used to living in. I'm not used to this, this muggy wet stuff. <laughs> Go back to Florida. <laughs> Blow away. Anyway, uh, I'll be fine. But I got to get the air conditioner on. So with that, thank you for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't already and hit that little bell notification. It will tell you not only when I upload the next video, but when I go live. I am planning some little live things coming up here in the next couple of weeks. So with that, go be profitable and make it fun. And we'll see you on the next one.